What up everybody, Wiser Wonder here with Tattoo Pro Stencils and today's tutorial features the Electro Skull. Basically you're gonna place it down. I want a little bit of room sticking up. And this is one of my favorite designs to do because I love skulls and there's a lot of fun things you can do with it once you have this design down. So the eyes and the nose holes I'm filling in solid and then I'm spraying around the teeth and around the jaw. In here it can go solid. Around the lower jaw. Um, notice how I let, let the stencil pop up a little bit because if I hold it down it will pop up on this end but if I want that to be flat I just have to let up on this side. As long as you're spraying in a concentrated area, uh, you're not going to worry about getting stuff over here. And then you can always roll the stencil over as needed. And then you also will have to grab it in different areas too, just to kind of get areas that weren't previously sprayed. So, so that is the basic basic skull with no shadowing, no shading. But now I'm going to take my freestyle tool. This is the freestyle tool I like using the most. As you can see, it's got lots of ink on it. Um, but what I'm going to do is use the freestyle tool to shadow in the skull here, uh, starting with the teeth. Now, there's this little hook here. This is a new technique I discovered where you can just place the little tip of the hook over a tooth and get, just give it a little spray and it'll pop that tooth right out. See that? I'm gonna just go, along the go down the line. Just spraying the tip just a little bit. You don't wanna go too far. You don't wanna to put too much paint on there. Um, so now you, you see all those teeth popping out. And then I'm just gonna mask off the uh, teeth there and shadow underneath that row of teeth so that the back of the jaw goes inwards. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom teeth. And then uh, mask off the cheekbone and add some depth to that. And I'm just going to spray a little depth around the bottom jawbone. See how it's starting to come together already. For the nose here, I'm going to mask off that part and spray a little bit of shadow there. And I can take this and line it up kind of there. And then that puts a little depth there. Uh, the rest of this is just kind of a free shadow, like so. Of course, I want a shadow around the back of the skull, um, and I want to definitely um, shadow up the forehead area. And then you'll see this, I need to put a ridge here, so I'll mask that off. And just spray so that the cheekbone gets pushed back a little bit. Also here, and you can see how the depth is just really starting to come out. And I'm going to add some more shadow there, and under the cheekbone there. And then here, I can just add some, some little spray, overspray lines using my tool. Alright, so now that that skull is done, we can add some stuff with the background. like you see in the photo. Now, when I'm spraying behind this, I'm doing this in layers. Whatever's in the front is first, so I wanna go behind. I wanna make sure that I don't spray onto the design underneath. So I'm just gonna be very aware of where you know my design is. That way I don't spray on top of it. looking pretty sweet. Let's do a little bit more down here. As you can see, this is a fairly large tattoo. Um, you know, so you want to make sure to charge accordingly when it comes to this design. And then let's do some of this cool little fragmentation. Uh, this uh, particular set was designed by my buddy Walt uh, from Salt Lake. He's a tattooer. Really good. He actually is the one who tattooed my hand. 
there. All right. So you can leave this just like this, or you can just do another little round of uh, detail done very easily with uh, swabs and rubbing alcohol. I like to use the 99% in a dispenser bottle like so. Uh, the 99% really helps like take it off right away with the swab. So um, get some on there and then I can do things like like just add a little highlights here and there as needed. Uh, I can add like a a back a backlight to the back of the skull there, and also you can tap around and create texture. And I'll back highlight to the jawbone. Some of these teeth they got too dark. And this right here is just adding that little extra layer of detail that really makes your tattoo look real when you're doing the airbrush tattoo. Sweet. So, there we go. Electro Skull. One of my favorite designs. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the section below. And make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on all these awesome tutorials. See you next time.